So, hey there people, and welcome to the next overview on this channel, Swiss RC World. Uh, today, I'm going to show you what I'm going to build. It's a quad, the exactly the QAV uh, 500, as you can probably imagine, all of these parts. And I'm just going to show you what I've got here, and yeah, let's get started. First off, uh, this 5000 milliamp Turnigy battery uh, I got for my FPV setup which is going to be uh, 1.3 gigahertz with a 300 milliwatt uh, transmitter and I'm going to uh, tape or zip tie this battery onto my tripod which my camera actually stands on right now so I can show you that and my whole FPV setup is going to stand on the tripod so then uh, for my quad, the QAV400 uh, I fly it with my uh, Turnigy Nanotech uh, 3300 uh, mAh 3S LiPos. I got four of them. Then I got some these orange RC bobbins, as you might know, and a ton of screws and I don't know what, a Velcro strap and so on, distance holders and so on. Then I have got some alloy. Uh, motor mounts or motor motor arms probably a better word four of these quad and just an AV cable for the video then I got the two uh, dirty plates and the two uh, clean plates for my KV400 and my ESCs are gonna be uh, the Hobby King 20 amp blue series uh, just because uh, they are very lightweight um, and they are also made, uh, not specifically, but also for um, for some multi-rotors. And the motors I'm going to be using are uh, some Turnigy NTM, uh, I think, 28, 26, 1200 kV motors with, I believe it's about 10 turns or something. And with this, always an accessory pack, as you can see here, with a little spinner-like thing, a motor mount. Uh, prop joiner and screws and so on and last I got uh, the DJI NASA as you can see without the GPS and here it is this is uh, my multi-rotor control board and stabilization board if you don't know what it is and it's kind of one of the best uh, control boards there are in the, in the whole world but it also costs a lot, it was about uh, $230 without GPS actually then I got this uh, USB to micro USB and power adapter then some tape and some cable, extension cables and finally the USB cable to split my power I'm gonna use uh, this cable plug thing I made myself, it took about 10 minutes or something and I don't know if I'm just gonna remove these plugs rather than putting plugs on here and here and just soldering on those cables I, I don't know yet so we will see and what I've also got here is a USB to ASP something like this uh, adapter and with uh, with this adapter I can usually I can actually I uh, reflash this uh, this ESC, and I'm gonna put on the the Simon K uh, firmware. If you don't know, Simon K firmware is just it has a higher refresh rate, and I think it's also more exact and it's it's just better for uh, multi rotor purposes. So I'm also gonna make a tutorial on that, and so I think that's it, guys. Thank you for watching this overview. And in the next uh, few days, I'm going to build this whole quad, and I'm going to show you every step I'm going to do. So look forward to that, and see you next time. Bye.